Hi everyone. Hi mommy. So this is Eid and today is the 26th of June. Eid is celebrated by some people in some areas on this day and history has repeated itself in a way that I will tell you my Eid card given to me by Miss Desa. Eid Mubarak and a very happy birthday, Zehra. In 1979, I have checked going back on Google search to calendar 1979. It was Eid al-Fitr the same Eid after Ramadan. And recently again, I have been given signs and realized that there is a power, a super, supra subconscious power beyond our conscious mind that is leading us somewhere we just have to heed the signs and not ignore it. Like it is said in the Quran, heed my signs. Those who are unjust, who are criminals, corrupted, greedy, careless, don't heed my signs. Ignoring God's signs and thus becoming too hard-hearted and extremely ignorant. However, some of them are hypocrites. They show that they are, they have awareness of God, yet they go behind our backs in the darkness doing treason. Like Cicero said about treason and the people of treason, the infidels, so true. The Quran has described them so well, so thoroughly, so clearly knowing what they do in front of us, what they say in front of us, and then what they do behind our backs against us, against the unity of humanity, the welfare of human beings, society, communities, nations. The Quran says in front of us, they say, we only want peace. We want nothing else, we want peace. You can see this like I have seen in Karachi American School and uh, thereafter the planning the cunningness, the exploitation, the arrogance of Matthew and Marianne Williamson, Mr. Horton. I know that I, as a Muslim, am not a terrorist. I was a loving person and that is what uh, my teacher, sixth grade teacher wrote, Mrs. Adams, in my autograph book. You came a loving way. You will be missed. Anyhow, this love that I have had for my teachers 
It's a bond beyond description. It's not the American type boy-girl relationship where you live together without commitment. But I've read in their magazines, Vogue and all these magazines, the, you know, the self-help or the editorial uh, relationship problems, opinions, advices. Once they commit, once they say we are married, they start having problems in marriage life. This is not that love or commitment or devotion that I have in my mind and heart and being for my teachers, for the people, wherever I am, wherever I work. This is a type of a global family, humanitarian, knitting, beautiful design, work of art, in relationships, living, in togetherness, in sharing and caring for one another and each other. This is not the Marion Williamson Matthew kissing and uh, breaking Karachi American School rules regulations for this is pure being and we who love sincerely truly dare not disobey the rules and regulations put by the school authorities because I believe that true sincere love never harms anyone and my religion says do not mock people do not make fun of each other or this life given to you as a blessing take care of it properly live for the betterment of all. So we were given this education in our majlises by just saying Imam Hussein alayhi salam who represents such a grand sacrifice that the highest sacrifice salutes him our true Shias, true Muslims, truly religious people have such high respect and they do not betray or breach trusts or rules or regulations from such an uh, early age. We are taught, we are told, we are given examples of such mighty, mighty people, followers of Almighty God, sincerely, faithfully, truly. Khalil Gibran says, Oh my love, oh my Lord, I'm so small, love is so great. So people, do you know how far this love goes? One act of sincere kindness without wanting even a thanks 
goes very far. How far it reaches through the fibers of the souls of people. So this thing that God blessed me with long time ago, the beautiful relationships, making, building, discovering each other, we are meant to discover, build, live together in loving, kind ways, compassionate, merciful, going to heights, divine, through human dignity, maintaining decency, becoming dignified. It's better to speak a few words, but in action be sincere and unknowing. Only Miss Dessa knows at that time how truly and purely I loved her. So my love has been so misunderstood and uh, exploited by these cruel American people. And now they're talking about love. And uh, they were talking about liberty, freedom, long time ago. Freedom to be an individual, individualistic, isms. If you want freedom to break rules and regulations, what can I say to such people? One day these rules and regulations, you will realize they will get to you in your motherhood, in your fatherhood, in your responsibilities of life and then you will curse yourselves and you would wish you were not. Marion Williamson, Matthew, Mr. Horton types. In your freedom, going for career, having a child, then wanting a babysitter, then in your old age, wanting an old home for people. This freedom that America talks about and tries to sell us, so superficial it is, I cannot tell you. Only the sensible, the wise Muslims Hindus, Jews, Christians, humanitarian, activists, social workers know that we have here on earth responsibilities, dues to pay. What we need is to become conscientious citizens, family members, Cooperate with one another. Give understanding hearts to one another. We don't need, if we do this, then we don't need American psychologists or psychiatrists. All we need is a friend, an understanding heart, compassion, kindness. Like Celine Dion, I think, sings, uh, sings, give a little love. So again, a few days now, 
yesterday, day before yesterday, I realized beyond my control, there's a heart of the universe speaking to me, telling me I'm related to you. I'm related to Mrs. Munira Gulzar. I have a relationship with Miss Asteria Desa. What a coincidence. Happy birthday and Eid Mubarak. When I asked Miss Desa, where's your sister? She told me that she's at her friend's place, just opposite your house. So these coincidences, history repeating itself, supra conscience going somewhere, a divine hand, a divine inspiration behind all this, signs divine telling me that I'm on the right path. These bonds I tried to build on were special and will remain so until there is life on earth. So here it comes. The cassette that was confiscated by my mother because losing Miss Desai used to listen to the song and uh, I would get breakdowns. My mother saw it and took this cassette away. Mujhe dil se na bulana ho chahe roke a ye zamana ho Jeevan, kuch nahi 